हाउ आर यू टुडे माई डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक इज अबाउट सर्किट ब्रेकर एंड द प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस दैट गैदर्ड फ्रॉम द सर्किट ब्रेकर मेन्टेनेंस एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम एनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट्स डिफरेंट टाइम्स वी आर फेसिंग इन द सबस्टेशन एंड ऑल्सो द पावर प्लान इट मे बी द इलेवेन के बी सर्किट ब्रेकर फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पर्पज इट मे बी द थर्टी थ्री के बी सर्किट ब्रेकर इट मे बी द वन थर्टी टू के बी सर्किट ब्रेकर टू ट्वेंटी के बी सर्किट ब्रेकर और इट मे बी द फोर हंड्रेड सेवन सिक्सटी फाइव और एवॉब वोल्टेज रेटिंग सर्किट ब्रेकर एवरी थिंग इन साइड द सर्किट ब्रेकर इज सेम सो द टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट द स्प्रिंग चार्जिंग मोटर द स्प्रिंग चार्जिंग मोटर फंक्शंस यू एवरीबडी नो दैट व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द स्प्रिंग चार्जिंग मोटर इट इज जस्ट ऑपरेटिंग टू चार्ज द स्प्रिंग फॉर एनदर ऑपरेशन ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर टू बी रेडी बट डिफरेंट टाइम वी फेस दैट लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम जस्ट arises inside the circuit breaker the closing spring does not charge automatically when every operation of the circuit breaker switching on and switching off is completed automatically a spring charging motor spring charge are just ready for the another operations for switching on and switching off but if the closing spring does not charge automatically what should be the possible reason for that we discussed about it faulty motor faulty motor means the motor inside the circuit breaker mechanisms box may be faulty so the limit switch fail to operate any problem inside the limit switch of the circuit breaker that is connected to the mechanical hinge of the circuit breaker for the switching on and switching off or spring charge just mechanical uh, indications or mechanical positions depend on the limit switch mcb in the motor circuit has stripped suppose any types of problem or any types of uh, short circuit has just inside it or any types of uh, different type of electrical problem will be there so the mcb can be tripped so the switch off or switch on the mcb to normalize the motor circuit so it may be the reason for uh, the spring charge does not charge automatically so the mcb of the motor circuit has stripped and supply is disconnected you have to check the supply disconnected from the bmk box if uh, the fuse is blown out so you have to replace the fuse if the mcb is stripped or mccb is stripped inside the uh, bmk box you should check uh, the mccb or mcb for uh, establishing the connections to the motor circuit loose wire connections or damaged wire suppose any types of fault short circuit has just inside it so the wire may be burned out or wire may be damaged so or it may be loose due to the wires and tears and different types of expansion and contractions or uh, aging whatever be the situations so you have to check the loose connections uh, thoroughly during the winter maintenance or preventive maintenance time or mechanism failure mechanism failure means mechanism mechanism has a mechanical part all the parts has a mechanical latches one latch is just supporting to the another latch for the closing operations and the spring is also helping for the closing operations and the tripping operations simultaneously so what should be the possible or corrective actions you should take to overcome these types of uh, reason or uh, these types of problem so the corrective actions check or replace the motor if any types of problem in the spring charging motor you should replace it or spare should be buy and kept uh, in your emergency stock if necessary you should check it and you should change it from anywhere uh, anywhere or it can be very easily uh, easy to replace because i have an experience of changing the abb circuit breaker cgl circuit breaker siemens circuit breaker um, uh, 
and also the Snyder circuit breakers also the Adiva Adiva Max Snyder PCOB 36 I have already been changed the motors um, in my experience it is very easy you have to just uh, change the motors and replace it and the motor is ready for the next operation for the spring chart or check or ensure the mechanical uh, linkage whatever any types of mechanical problems where tears are there latching is not just properly coming to uh, just tightening the latch tightening the nut bolt and tightening the position or uh, greasing or providing different types of lubrications so the mechanical linkage with the limit switch should be proper so if it is should be proper so the connections of the um, uh, with uh, the limit switch should be proper switch on and switch off the mcb or replace the blown fuse at the uh, bmk or anywhere the supply is coming and ensure the supply voltage if the supply voltage will be ensured then the supply will be established to the motor circuit of the circuit breakers whatever be the situations the same 11 kb circuit breaker 33 kb 132 kb 220 kb 400 kb all circuit breaker has the same mcb and same control circuit uh, most probably the same you have to check the control circuits uh, the connections uh, of the mcbs are totally same tighten the connection or replace the wire if any any connection is loosened you have to check the all nuts and all the tvs for the tighten of the connections if the connection is loose so the motor cannot be or uh, cannot be uh, running or spring charge will cannot be there so if you tighten the connections during the maintenance time so this problem will not become or if any problem will be there after uh, tightening the connection replace the wire for the permanent solutions check or uh, replace the mechanisms is the mechanical problems inside it you cannot uh, uh, you cannot fix it so that's the mechanical uh, damage inside the mechanism box if any types of mechanical damage inside the mechanism box uh, that means different types of problem may be there the um, oil is just outing from the uh, hydraulic um, hydraulic parts of the circuit breakers or any types of latches that is slip out when you are just switching on the circuit breaker or switching off the circuit breaker and after the spin charge is completing automatically the circuit breaker is switch on because the positioning or po proper positioning is not will be there if the proper positioning will not be there we will consider it the mechanical problems inside it so no latch will be properly placed and the circuit breaker switching on and switching operation will be malfunctions so it is very very important to um, check or corrective actions for these types of problem what what, what was our problem the closing spring does not charge automatically so the possible reason I have discussed today about the possible reason what may be the possible reasons for the circuit breaker not closing automatically or not charging automatically and the corrective action you should take to overcome this problem. If you are just uh, getting knowledge from here and if you uh, think that this video will um, provide or help you in your workplace please uh, subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friends and colleagues for just sharing your knowledge thank you friend thank you for watching my video thank you very much